I was surprised to hear this last week that there is this myth amongst some PR professionals and other people as well, where they think the reporter has control over what gets published and presented and who finalizes their copy. But you've been a reporter. <laughs> I've been a reporter. If you're really good, you won't get a lot of corrections, but sometimes it just gets chopped up. I remember when I was PR director for professional baseball team and watching this reporter see his story go from a thousand words down to 500 words in the span of the game. And you see it in all other sports arenas as well, where you start out with some copy and then you, it just, or it gets killed altogether. So what would you say in response to that? Because having been on that side, how much control did you have over your stories? And did you have any of them killed? Second answer, absolutely. Stories can just drop off. And I'm speaking mostly as a radio reporter, but then I'll go through the other mediums as well. I think radio reporters have the most control over their stories and over what ends up on air. Here's why. The radio reporter is typically out in the field, although sometimes they're in the studio. They're reporting, they're sending back the finished product that you hear from the first syllable to the last, right? Mm -hmm. That 30-second, that 40-second radio report. And they're being filed. They're being put in the computer system. Back when I was a reporter, you actually had to call up and talk on the phone and someone had to record it on the other end. Now you're right. probably just uploading it as a file. But either way, there's not a lot of editing. It probably still isn't a lot of editing going on back in the studio of that finished radio report. Disclaimer, maybe sometimes it'll get chopped because they'll cut it up. They'll take that 40 seconds, if you can believe it, and cut it into like little 10 second <laughs> syllables. But radio reporters, I think, still have the most control over the finished product. You're absolutely right that print reporters, the final print piece can look nothing like what the original thing was. And never mind the old, we don't write the headlines thing. That's just yeah. added. <laughs> That's um, another story. <laughs> but right, but but literally, a print reporter will conduct interviews, write the story, edit their own story, send it to their editor. The editor co will come back with questions to clarify what's being written. And this is a good thing, to clarify what's being written. And then there'll be a process by which the editor actually copy edits down for length and for accuracy to make sure that the finished product is crystal clear. Then beyond that, that will then get cut down in the layout process yeah. because, oh, we only have four inches here or six inches there. We got to rearrange this. So we got to pull out that sentence and all that kind of jazz. So print probably goes through the most heavily edited system from start to finish, the kind of that you were talking about, that thousand word down to 500. Yeah. TV somewhere in between. Yeah. Of course, the headline is another story. <laughs> <laughs> So all you can do is hope that the headline matches the story. <laughs> well, and know, I have seen it not why, do that. <laughs> oh, a hundred percent, hundred percent. And sometimes the headline writers nail it. And sometimes it's just sales to use your sports analogies, just sales right over your head. 